Hi there, hello, and welcome back to Crow Country. This is part three in an ongoing series of however many parts there needs to be. Um, so we left off in the train room. We got the crank handle. And yeah, I think we also got the chain from the swan pond. So I think I, think I need to go to the dig site. But I want to go talk to Arthur because that cop dude showed up. Ah, I stepped on a goop. Scro scoop. Arthur, did a police officer come by here? Yeah, he was on a bike. Did you talk to him? Yeah, a little bit. And that's it. Cool. Cool story. All right, let's hit the um, the machine, the thingy, the wh whatever it's called. Oh, I stepped on the goop again. I need to pay more attention. Where was the machine at? I think I can also get into the Ocean Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is it bloody? I don't like that. Is it on like a top? Oh, okay. You know what? I'll come back to this. Any dangers here? Are we good? I need... There we go. Wait. Okay, let's see. It's a bucket. It's empty. All right, I didn't know I could. Here we go. There's a wheel. Turn the wheel. Nothing's happening. There's something over there. What is that? Hold on. Chain. But let's leave it. What's going on here? Oh, hi. You dead? Okay. Not a gigantic fan of that. This was something too, wasn't it? It's missing a handle. Oh. What is this tank full of what did I just do okay there's something hanging from the chain the woeful mask that's delightful i love the way that looks so stylish okay so that goes to the witchwood which we'll go there we'll, we'll go there and then we'll go to the ocean kingdom just so that way we're making sure we're we're covering everything over in haunted hilltop get, get away from me maybe i should kill him how much ammo I got? I got some ammo. I can afford to kill you, I think. I don't like the way you're looking at me. I don't like the way you're trying to stab me with your face. Okay. Okay. There's some things happening. Okay. That's enough ammo expenditure for now. What is this? Ah! Eh! Okay, that, that seems like a poison thing. Antidote. Oh, hell, Clogger's still there. Oh. Interesting. a stone pedestal there's a symbol that looks like a swirl looks like an eye a star those are changing back there too um ow that kind of hurt We'll just use one for now. Be a little frugal with these things. 
Okay, so that lowers the eye pedestals. I'm guessing the other one will lower the star ones, the pentagram ones. Okay, got our med kit back. I'm not I'm not against using another one if I just found one. Okay. So let's lower the pentagram pedestals. It's a box of shotgun shells. I could not tell what that was at all. Okay, I see. Don't want none of that this time. I think that's what I want. Yeah. Is that more handgun ammo? Sure is. Okay. It's full of murky water. It smells really bad. Let's just stick our fingers all up in there. It's weirdly warm. I can feel something at the bottom. A trident? Um... No, thank you. Oh, hell. Yeah, get away from me. Time to leave. Mm -mm. Don't like it. Unpleasant. I've, I'm probably missing stuff in there. I don't know. I don't know if the map will actually tell me, like, a la Resident Evil style. Okay, so I remember from a note earlier that the trident is for something in the Ocean Kingdom. So I think that's really just our next stop. Man, dudes keep showing up in this place. Look, man. Whoa, he's doing a little spin back there. I'm just saying. You, uh, you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. It's a good deal. You keep doing your spin, though. I appreciate that. I appreciate the way you spin. <laughs> Ocean Kingdom! <clears throat> Just a soda can. Excuse you. Storage. Staff staff only. It won't budge. I can't think of any way to open it. I think this is the one that probably needs fire. Maybe? Nemo's adventure is accessed by a 15-foot vertical ladder. Do not attempt to use the ladder if someone is already on it. Nemo's adventure is not suitable for young children, pregnant women, the elderly, or those with back problems or heart conditions. The hell kind of... Hell kind of adventure. Neptune's palace. Sorry we're closed. It's the door into the restaurant. It's locked from the other side. Is that a butter knife? And a fork? Okay. The Seven Seas. What's that? Oh, it's an antidote. Is 
supplies. Glorious. Birdos. No, I don't want to do that. I noticed the acid bottle on the mermaid cage is pretty much empty. You could refill it from the acid tank, but I heard Crow moved it down to the underground level. And no, I don't know what he's using it for. I didn't ask. More garbage. Nothing, man. Can I kick it again and get something? Nope. All right. Fine. Banana peel. Can we get someone to hook up the sprinklers in the theater to the main water supply? Currently, it's just hooked up to a water tank, but it's not airtight, so it'll eventually dry out. Okay. Golden keyhole. I need a golden key. I haven't even found the silver key. There's the map. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That door is locked. That door is locked. That is gas. Let's go back. I'm guessing... Would this even... I'm guessing this will eventually connect to the underground area. Wow. This is cool as hell. Is this a save room? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's the shotgun. Safe number 21, the personal effects of Captain Nemo. Won't budge. Maybe there's a different way to get it to open. Rules of the sea. Octopus plus two, shark plus six, jellyfish minus five, dolphin minus three, puffer fish multiply by two, turtle reset to zero. Press the red button to restart your score. There's a red button. I think I said restart. I meant to say reset. It's a television. It's not displaying anything. Hey, Ed. How's your thing? How's your things? How's things? I got your shipment. The system's all up and running. And the important part, I've lined up a major buyer for the gold. I had to put on a bit of a show when they visited the site, but I think I got away with it. I had a thought. I can't, I can't read or speak today. I had a thought about the rocks you're using for the ore. Do you think anyone over on my end would be able to tell it's not Brazilian? Like, they know it was from Georgia? Maybe I'm overthinking it, Marv. Oh, is that more ammo? Heck, yeah, I can't carry more. That's fine. These are all the memos. This plastic gun is broken. That one's not working. Nothing. Okay, so... It was octopus, shark, and pufferfish, right? Do I just shoot these... Normal-like? Whoa. This is doing something. It's some information about sharks. The great white shark grows up to 20 feet in length. They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. They can live up to 70 years, or perhaps even longer. And finally, they can swim at speeds of 16 miles per hour. Some fun factoids for y'all. Okay, I know the puffer fish was uh, doubling the score. Don't shoot the turtle, don't shoot the jellyfish, don't shoot the dolphin. Now what's this? It's some information about an octopus. This great Pacific octopus weighs exactly 1,825 ounces. Our brave marine biologist weighed him only this morning. A great Pacific octopi have an arm span of up to 14 feet. Watch out. And they typically live around four years in the wild. Not very long, is it? Okay, hold on. I have an idea. 21. So I think I need to get my score up to 21. And what was the minus? Three? Okay, so I should hit the... Buffer fish. And then j dolphin minus three. Okay, what's this say? It's some information about puffer fish. A puffer fish contains enough poison to kill 30 adult humans. Whoa, deadly. They grow up to three feet in diameter. 
bigger than the biggest basketball. They are mostly found in tropical ocean waters. Sounds lovely. And finally, they there are more than 120 species worldwide. All right. That's some information about dolphins. Bottle nose dolphins weigh an average of 660 pounds. They can reach a length of four meter, meters or 13 feet, and they can live for more than 40 years. And finally, they can jump at a height of 20 feet up in the air. How talented. Finally, we get the shotgun. 12 gauge, aw oh, yeah. Okay, and then we'll shoot the jellyfish. It's some information about jellyfish. The lion's mane jellyfish is also known as the giant jellyfish or the hair jelly. They are capable of attaining a diameter of over six feet. Their tentacles may trail as long as 100 feet. And finally, they remain mostly at a depth of no more than 60 feet. Cool. And then the turtle. Sea turtles can measure between four and seven feet in length. They can weigh up to 1,500 pounds, so they can live up to... They can live up to 50 years or more. And finally, they can sometimes swim over 20 miles a single day. Sick. Okay, 27 ammo. That's still pretty good. Save. Okay. So shotgun obtained. I think we're done in here. No, thank you. No, thank you. I like how it does a little spin when you equip weapons. It's pretty fun. Ooh, it's dark in here. Super dunk. Isn't that a Final Fantasy VII reference? Wasn't the basketball minigame in the gold saucer called Super Dunk. I don't remember, I could be wrong. There's no power. Okay, I can't carry any more med kits. Did I take any damage? I'm okay, I'm fine. Oh, hi! Uh, can you not point that light in my face? I've got a wicked headache as it is. Oh, sorry. Who are you? I've never seen you before. I'm Mara. Agent Mara Forrest. Special. Agent Mara Forrest. No shit, that's like a girl version of my name. What's your name? Mark? Marv. Of course. Marvin Trumbull. Why are you here? Are you an employee? Well, we've been finding notes from this dude all over the place. No, but I do work with Ed. We're, uh, business partners. Edward Crow? Yeah. You know where he is? I was about to ask you the same question. Ah, oh, shit. He's gone and done it, hasn't he? Done what? Hey, so, uh, how old are you? That's a good question. She- Mara's a lot smaller than everyone. The one detective guy was like, Oh yeah, this punk-ass kid broke into my car. Is Mara just like a teenager? Old enough. Nice gun, by the way. What is that? A brownie? A colt? Uh, yeah, sure. Marvin, what kind of work do you do with Crow? I, w I work overseas normally. Just came back for a little visit. Only Crow's gone and disappeared. Great timing. I'm pretty sure he's around here somewhere. See, I wanted to use the Northwest Elevator, but Tolman's prowling around back there. Tolman? Yeah, you know, Ed's root excavation guy. Root? What? Maybe I'll try the southwest elevator. That could work. Wait, the elevators are broken, aren't they? Well, that depends. On what? Yeah, I think I'd better get going. See you around, Mary. Hold on. 
birth 1965 so this would put her at like 30 right like thir no like 25 she'd be like 25 yeah okay the Atlanta Globe August 1988 Crow Country announces sudden closure while its popularity has been on something of a downturn recently, there were no public signs of an impending closure for local theme park Crow Country. However, many angry guests were forcefully turned away as they showed up to the park yesterday only to find the gates closed. Speculation is rife that this sudden decision has something to do with the Elaine Marshall incident reported in this newspaper two weeks ago. Edward Crow, owner, issued this statement. It's nothing to do with the Marshall incident. We're just closing for refurbishments. But that doesn't line up with the fact that people had tickets booked for a visit to the park this week. What's going on, Mr. Crow? What is going on, Mr. Crow? It's a change machine. These things are always broken. Wait, is there a second note behind it? What on earth? Set the arcade game scores. Dolphin score should be twice the mermaid score. Boat score should be twice the dolphin score. Shark score should be twice the boat score. Is it some kind of equation? It's locked. There's a silver keyhole. Still haven't found the silver key. What's that? It's a box of shotgun shells. Oh, it was up on top. I did not even... Didn't even see it. There's fire extinguishers all over the place. I wonder if those are going to have like a use. Zap girl... That's a uh, girl Mega Man, it looks like. Some of the kids were complaining that their high scores weren't being saved. I guess the machines reset their scores every time we turn them off. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but I'm not going to fix it. It gives the kids a reason to keep coming back. Claw machine, no power. Antidote. Let's see if we can figure out the power. What is that? What does this look like a boss room? I can hear something breathing in there. Hold on, where's the phone? Hello? The worst part is, I never really wanted the gold. I didn't really care. It was my father who wanted it. He made the decision to buy the land. I don't even know if I'm doing the uh, appropriate voice for this. Years later, when he died, he left all of Crow Country in my care. I had no choice but to come back, finish what he'd started. Wait, the theme park originally belonged to your father? No, Crow Country is the name of the land. This land. Huh. Okay, so that goes back. It's a chandelier thing. Trash I can search. Granada. Whoa. Whoa there. Hey now. What the fuck? I don't appreciate that. Hello? I kind of want to fire around in there, but I won't. This is going to end up being a boss room, isn't it? I don't think I should have taken that ammo either. Okay, now we got the map for the Western Utility Corridors. We got a full-on ass map here. Sick. It won't budge. There's no key holder. Keyhole. There's a sign, but it's blank. I don't like this door. Oh, hey, the sign dropped down. Let the record show that I solved my problem with violence. Silver keyhole. Okay. Fatal error. All the elevators continue to be broken. The lounge. Someone's back there. Hey, Ed. What's up? 
The mine has an inspection coming up. National level. Scary shit. Someone told me they checked the actual minerals in the ore. Like they check it's a match for the local area. Then someone else told me they don't ever do that. But they will with me because they definitely suspect something. So I had a crate of rocks and soil delivered. Let me know when it gets to you. I got the contents for free, obviously. But it costs an absolute freaking fortune to send something so heavy. But if it means we can fool the inspection guys. Eh, Marv. More garbage. More shotgun shells. The root excavation areas need to stay locked when you're not using them. If you need to access them, the switch that unlocks all the gates is in the break room. That's in the northwest underground area. Okay, so I am... I'm northwest, but I'm not underground. So, I mean, that doesn't help me. It's a wooden panel. I can see through into the lounge. Harrison James is sitting on the couch. He hasn't noticed me. This is kind of fun. Oh, it's a little little peeper wall. Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. It's a staff memo. Remember to get into the fairy pond area. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Hi. Well, well, look who it is. I don't remember the voice I did for this guy already. Mara, you told me you were on your way out. I got lost. Uh-huh. I'm not stupid, you know. Did you find Natalie? No, not yet. I thought she might be in here, but... What are you reading? It's an old book about gold mining. It's actually really looks boring. Mara, is there something I can help you with? So, uh, how are you feeling? What do you mean? You're not injured? You haven't been attacked? By anything? So you saw them too. Those creatures. That's a Silent Hill reference. Did they attack you? No, I ran. Best as I could. I thought I was going crazy. Mara, what are they? What's going on here? Do you know something? Harrison, if you're really not injured, you should probably leave. Get out of here while you still can. I can't do that. I still need to find Natalie. She might be in danger. So you're still looking for Natalie? Where have you looked? Ugh, basically nowhere. Everywhere I go, doors are locked, paths are blocked. It always seems like I need some kind of weird key. Hey, man, brother. It's infuriating. Oh yeah, it, it is that kind of place. You get the hang of it after a while. Um, excuse me. The fuck? Ah! Please die. Or are you friendly? Ow, you're not friendly. You're good. Get away from me. Are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead? Okay. As long as you're dead. That other ammo disappeared? Oh, terrible. Okay. Oh, there's more right here. That's fine. Wait, how much do I have? Yeah. Okay, this goes to the restaurant. There's another weird hole in the wall here. Can I just, like, shoot in here? Does anything happen? No? Alright, cool. Fine. No problem. This is spooky. Hello? Natalie. My daughter. She's here. Is this she? Yes. She's looking for you. She filed a missing persons report with the police. I told her not to. I thought I'd convinced her not to. Listen, can you get her out of here? Get her to leave, now. Mr. Crow, she got hurt. She was attacked. I see. He's gone. Interesting. It's a glass tank. There's some kind of sea monster inside. Ah, uh, okay.
Interesting. It's a statue. Through our friends. Good to know. Shotgun shields. Do I need these guys to be like facing specific ways? Weird as hell. Neptune's Palace birthdays. Have parents place gifts inside treasure chest. During the meal, give the trident to the child. The sea monsters will turn towards the trident. When they're facing the trident, they'll sing as long as the trident isn't too far away. If all four are singing, the chest will open. Child can now take the gifts out of the chest. Note, the sea monsters often get stuck and don't rotate properly. Just give them a tap and it should set them off. Okay. Ow, my head! Jeez. Jeez out. That's not I wanted to use a large one. Heck. I know there's another one over here, though. I think I'm good on ammo. Ooh, more med kit. The menu, hamburgers, french fries, chicken nuggets, exactly what you'd expect. The cup is empty. Let's add soda to it. Strawberry sunshine. The cup is full, but I don't want to drink it. Oh, what the fuck? Tolman's records, March 30th, 1988. Boss has begun experiments with the pool. He attaches a key to a long chain and slowly lowers it in. He waits 25 seconds and pulls it back out again. It's changed. Too long in some places, too short in others. It's the wrong shape. What? Oh, golly. Golly G. I need to pay attention. Did I read this one? To management, can we get the code for the front door changed, please? It's far too easy to guess. Is it the factory default or something? This is a security concern. So what is it like? One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Okay. They were not joking. It's a table laid out with food. It's all rotten, super grody. Can I like put the trident here? There's no keyhole. Okay, these two are into it, so... Oh, I see. I see what's happening here. Easy. It's a small key. It's the silver key. There's a hundred fucking doors for this key. A hundred. Am I still missing something here? Or is it the soda? The soda thing has to be a secret, I feel like. Oh. There's a couple of you guys here. You have that. Wait. Wait. Strawberry, pineapple, lime, grape? Is that the secret? Strawberry, pineapple, lime, grape. No? Opposite? Uh, grape, lime, pineapple, strawberry? Aha! Uh -huh -huh! Mr. Crow keeps extra treasure maps in the wooden bureau in his lounge. The code is 8891. Oh, really? Oh, really? Really, you say? 8891? Oh, hell! The fuck was that? What? What? It's good to judge, The good to people! Heck! It's this thing, right? Map of secrets. Dope. I don't. So 
doesn't look like it has actually... It doesn't look like it actually did anything to my map. Oh, there's a... <laughs> okay, there's secrets everywhere. Everywhere. Interesting. There's one. Oh, yeah, that the staff parking. Was that the gold key in that trunk or was it the silver key? Okay. Let's save. 2106 again. And it's written here, too. What the hell? There's new traps and shit showing up. So this goes out to the fairy pond. Hmm. Oh god damn. Oh hello. Sorry for barging in. Hmm. I should introduce myself. I'm Mara Forest. I'm looking for... I like the purple. What is that, dyed? Must be. Doesn't look like a wig. When you're finished talking about my hair, I think I might need your help. I'm looking for Edward Crow. Yeah, I bet you are. You must be Tolman. I must be. What was it Marvin said? You were the... Root? Excavation guy? Correct. What's root excavation? No idea. You know, you're not being very helpful. Correct. The park is closed. Duh, I know. So go home. I can't go home. Sure you could. Just get in your little car. Drive away. I'm sure that guy you saved would appreciate it. Arthur? You know about him? At least he had the good sense to get injured once and give up. Tolman, what are the monsters? The monsters? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. No, it's just... Trust me, Mara. You don't want to know. Kinda do, though. Can I turn on the elevators from in here? The elevators are broken. No, they're not. They're just pretending to be broken. So where's the switch? Let's see if you can work it out on your own. Fine. You don't feel like helping me find the elevator switch? I do not. Right. Okie dokie. Tolman's records, March 21st, 1989. Guests are appearing almost every day now. We can't save them. They're too far gone, but I want to know where they've come from. I found a number marked in blood on the ground, 2106. It's not a code for any of our locks. It's not a code at all. It's a radio. Sound is horribly distorted. Probably because the aerial has been cut in half. The fuck is this thing? It's a big metal tank. A piece of Tuesday isolated for examination. Tuesday. Is that a music note? Crow Country Elevator Power Grid. It's an electrified grid with four little lights. The lights are all red. 1350, 1912, 1937, 1945. It's just showing static. There are four VHS tapes resting on top. 1937, Hindenburg. 1912, Titanic. 1350, Plague. 1945, Hiroshima. A small fire broke out on the port side just ahead of the port fin. One witness on the starboard side reported another fire behind the rudder. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's watch these in order. So we got 1350. A Litany in Time of Plague by Thomas Nash. Rich men trust not in wealth. Gold cannot buy you health. Visit himself must fade. All things to end are made. The plague full swift goes by. I am sick. I must die. Okay. Okay. 
How easily man's grand grandest ambitions are undone. The iceberg was first spotted on the cold, moonless night that was April 14th, 1912. They say it could have been avoided, were it not for man's inclination for hubris, panic, and blunder. Okay, then we do Hindenburg again. Already watched this. Hiroshima. Look up as you are passed over by the heavy shadow of the B-29 bomber. But in an instant, it is lighter. It has released 10,000 pounds of cargo. What is that saying? Is that a W? Popping up on the screen? It, what? An E? Okay, are there notes showing up? So we got 1350 plague. I wasn't paying attention to the screen. F A C face. This thing's pretty cool. I'm jealous. Aha. The cabinet open, there's a lever inside. All right. I solved your stupid puzzle. Be honest. You loved it. I solved your stupid puzzle. <laughs> okay, so the elevators should now be good to go, right? Mara, hold up. What is it? Don't go down there. You'll regret it. So be it. Does he say anything else? Are you going to stop me? Hopefully I won't have to. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I have a bunch of silver. I don't want to go underground yet. There's a bunch of silver keyhole stuff. We're going to go backtracking and grabbing and just bear with me. Bear with me here. Oh, this is open. When did this open? How did this open? What the fuck? Warning, I shouldn't have to say this, but for your safety and my sanity, please do not eat any of the mushrooms. Search each area carefully. Smaller items like antidotes and grenades can be easy to overlook. Velvet rope barrier, and what's stopping me from crossing it? Well, I could easily move it. I don't like the ambience in here. What is that? The illustrious Miss Lapieta Bruni. Yes. We'll leave it. What are you? The distinguished Mrs. Morcella. Are you? It's the Mushroom King. There's a button on his head. I don't want to touch it. By decree of his royal highness, the monarch of many mushrooms, the court finds the following to be innocent and harmless. Blusher, Morel, Shiitake. Okay, didn't see the med kit. Um, hmm. Oh, fuck. Amanita Bisporigera. Serlentinula Edodes. Amanita Phalloids. I have no fucking clue. I don't know shit about mushrooms. By decree of his royal highness, monarch of many mushrooms, blah, 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 deadly and dangerous, death cap, destroying angels, deadly dapperling. I invited Amanita Phalloids to dinner. Alas, I find myself dining alone. I'm afraid of the, I'm afraid the death cap will be thrown to the pigs. Mm-hmm. I 
I don't know. It says do not eat them. Uh, that's locked from the other side, but I can get in over here. I believe this was a silver key. Am I alone in here? Doesn't sound like it. Nope, sure am not. It's an action figure. It's a little plastic crow. Four dollars. I'd buy it. Plastic crow with a pumpkin head. Four forty. Five thirty-five. This is going to be a puzzle, isn't it? Five fifty. It's a rubber crow doll with a golden trident. 1025. Rubber Crow Doll, 10. 495. 425. Can't carry more gas. 615. What the hell? Gifts for Natalie. Haunted Hilltop Stuffed Toy. Classic Crow Country Rubber Doll. Fairy Tale Town Action Figure. Thanks. Let me know the total. I'll pay you back. It's a mushroom. I'm a little mushroom boy. I'll use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. Tell me, what is it that you wish? Uh, what's that? You want to improve the capacity of your shotgun? To each their own, I guess. Give me that. Wish granted. Sick. Okay, so I need a total for... Haunted Hilltop Stuffed Toy, Classic Crow Country Rubber Doll, and the Fairy Tale Town Action Figure. This was the Fairy Tale Town Action Figure, right? 425. Uh, okay, so 425. So 1425. Nineteen seventy five, I believe, is the answer. Heck yeah, that's a big gun. I got me a Magnum. Oh yeah. Why was that in a register in a toy store? Okay. Sick. I think I found one thing of Magnum ammo. If it's anything like Resident Evil, it's going to one-shot most things. Um, ow, God. Ah, man! Uh, I'm not going to use health yet. I think I can unlock the trunk unless that was a gold key, which is possible. God. Everything. Everywhere. All at once. Still good? Okay, nothing new here. It's a shoebox to Natalie. Happy 17th, Dad. Running shoes. It's a pair of running shoes. They're my size, too. Oh, yeah, I got the speed. Sick. Crow's office I can't get to yet. I haven't been able to turn the power back on. It's probably worth taking another look at the Ocean Kingdom. How do I clear that vent out? It's probably underground. It's probably... Oh, this is open now? Where do these footsteps come from? What the fuck? Wait. 
That's a golden keyhole. Okay. What's in here now? When did this open? I noticed there's an elevator behind the large crow. Does it go anywhere? Does anyone use it? It always seems to be powered down. I figured it was broken, but someone said there's a switch in crow's office that turns it on. Okay. Is there something inside that goes somewhere? Some kind of diagram. That's a smooth. Uh, okay, I think I have it figured out. Bronze key, crank handle, ruby, chain, mask, trident, silver key, dated disc, acid bottle, fill, golden key, large battery charge. What an ordeal. Must be all the key items, it seems like. I think it's a shipping crate. Maybe I shouldn't, but we're gonna. Is that? Hey, kid. Truly, what happened? I'll tell you if you help me out of this thing. Okay. Of course, let's get you out of there. What the fuck? Why is she... Why is she in there? Ah, oh, thanks for the help. How did you end up in the crate? Some guy grabbed me from behind and threw me in there. Some guy? Who was it? No idea. Didn't see his face. He had real sweaty hands, though. Oh. Gross. Yeah. Not an especially enjoyable experience, all told. I wonder if it was Marvin. He looked like he'd been kind of sweaty. Marvin who? Oh, nothing. Don't worry. Just thinking out loud. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, listen, that's twice you've helped me out now. Let me know if there's any way I can return the favor. Cool. Anything I can do for you? Uh, not right now. Thanks, so. though. Alrighty. You know where to find me. It's full of soil. Just soil and rocks. I don't get it. That's the soil and rocks that was shipped there to avoid the inspection. Curious. I need to end this video, but we're going to look in this room first. What the shit? Can't carry any more gasoline. It's a dumpster. Whatever's in there, it's on fire. It smells bad. It's giving me a headache. Computer screen is just a bunch of flickering numbers. I can't make sense of it. Falling something out of the ground. What the hell? Okay, doke. Okay, okay. All right, well, that's it for this part. I appreciate everyone who's tuning in and watching. I'm still really enjoying this game. Uh, I think. I mean, obviously, next we're going to go into the underground. I can't imagine we have a ton left. It seems like it's uh, going at a pretty good pace. But yeah, um, so thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.